Jesus Christ, it's dangerous having DRS wide open. Welcome back guys to another video, another F1 2021 My Team video, Season 9, Round 13, the Belgium Spa Francorchamps Grand Prix. Last time, of course, around Hungary, we had a stellar, stellar start to the second half of the season. AP1 finish, couldn't get the fastest lap, lost that to Max Verstappen, but we did well and got you know p1 after a struggle in the qualifying session i attributed it to traffic and the new engine that we put in so hopefully we can keep the hype going today it's time for the fastest circuit on the calendar i'm not quite sure after jetta got introduced and some other circuits but definitely one of the more faster circuits and longer circuits let's head to belgium and see if we can continue our form and continue our streak on the podium Welcome to qualifying around the Spa Francorchamps circuit. This track needs no introduction. It's one of the strongest circuits for us, and hopefully, we can keep that streak going. Of course, AI here around Puan is going to be OP. They're going to take that flat out, but we'll see if we can compete against them because we should be fast on other parts of the circuit like Yurush, Radion, and probably somewhere. Bust off Chicane, I think I'm faster than the AI, but. Yeah, just stellar, stellar FP1 and FP2 sessions, ran some simple laps, couple here and there. DRS and Slipstream gave me quite a boost in FP2. I was in the Slipstream of Ocon, I believe, and I gained about a second with that DRS along the Radion Strait. So, yeah, we are going to use that to our benefit to get some overtakes done on this circuit on race day, hopefully. If we do succeed in getting pole position, we're just going to have to uh, defend against that OP DRS. So we'll see how well my defensive game will be. But it is time to qualify here and it's torrential rain right now. Uh, we are going to run a uh, dry setup mainly because on race day it's going to be dry and cloudy and then there's going to be a scatter of shower midway through the race. So it's going to be a interesting uh strategy decision um in this race so we'll see how well we do but first off we need to see how well we perform in the rain so let's head on out there and see what kind of lap i set in this very dangerous condition here we go bust up chicane in this torrential weather torrential rainy weather right behind signs around bus stop let's go let's go let's go good exit out of there good Cross the line for P1. Let's go. That is fast. The AI is struggling in this weather. So we are absolutely making the most of it. We have about a lap's worth of fuel left. So let's do a cool down and go one more time just to secure our position in P1. All right. Nice rotation out of there. Three times improved. Track is getting drier and drier. 148.4. Okay. We're out of fuel, so we're bringing it home. End of the session, we're still fastest, five tenths faster than Max Verstappen. Our teammate Lando Norris is in P5, so he makes it through to the next round of qualifying. Mazepin, Schwartzman, Eilert, Masushita, Aiken, and Tiktum are out. Ooh, Mazepin with a five, grip, uh, five position grip penalty. Let's take a look why. Ooh, illegal blocking grip penalty. Okay, not quite sure where that came from, but let's move on to the next round. Let's see, took bust off chicane clinically. Crossing the line. Did I get a good lap? Let's see. I think I did. Struggled a bit in sector two and that's why I found myself in P6. Not too bad, five tenths off the pace, four, 4.7 tenths off the pace of Giovinazzi. Not too bad. Lungard, Joe, Raikkonen, Alcon, Stroll, and Hamilton get knocked out. Let's move on to the final round and see where we place for the race. Coming across the line here. Let's go, let's go. Fast slab, 138.6. Let's go. Fastest lap overall. The fastest lap at this point in time is a 1 minute 37.5. Jeez Louise, how did someone get a 137.5? That's unbelievable. Yeah, I can't get anywhere near pole position. Oh, that's a struggle. That was a real struggle. I'm surprised. They found some massive time recently, or towards the end of the session. Unbelievable how much time they got. Um, P8 and P9 for us. 
Oof, that is a bit of a sad sight to see, but our rivals Perez and Giovinazzi are both in front. So let's see on race day if we can overtake them and gain a position on the podium. Let's see how competitive we are on race day. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019 Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Sergio Perez on pole position today, edging out Antonio Giovinazzi who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Gasly, Charles Leclerc and Sainz. Russell, Norris, Ace, and Nicholas Latifi. Hamilton, Stroll, Esteban Ocon, and Raikkonen. Joe, Lundgaard, Daniel Tictum, and Jack Aitken. Eilert, Schwartzman, Mazepin, and Nobuharu Matsushita. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. A little unorthodox starting position, P9. Uh, didn't expect that, but we can always make good of a bad situation. Um, beat him to soft is the way to go, so we're going to do that. Get the overcut on everyone, and maybe there's going to be a bit of rain. Hmm. If there's rain, do I want to do a soft to medium instead? Yeah, the medium to soft strategy is going to be ideal, I think. The rain is weirdly placed anyway, so everyone's going to struggle. Lights out, and away we go. Okay, decent start. Okay, we made it through turn one nicely. No damage. Ah, uh, Rouge. Had to lift because we were in a very weird position there. We are facing Lewis Hamilton. Oh, he's on my outside. Oh boy. Oh ho ho. Norris and Russell side by side there. Norris is doing well. Norris is doing very well. Navigated pool on okay. Oh, someone's on my outside. Is that Hamilton? Yep. Signs, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. I can get close here. Got the slip, Shimon Signs. Around the outside, leave me the space, thank you. Dove it on Russell as well, right behind my teammate. Come on, we gotta fight our way up. Come on. Driver in front. Driver in front. Lando is ahead of you. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. Their tires are one lap old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 146.0. Okay, seems like everyone's on a one-stop strategy here. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Green flag. Someone behind me is retiring, I think. You're losing a small yep, signs is out. Darn. Signs is out. DNF. We keep going though. Oh, there's a battle up ahead, I just realized. Oh, dove it on Norris there. Clean. That was a clean dive. It is getting a little darker right now. Hold on a sec, it's getting a little darker. Rain clouds are coming over the Arden Force. Oh, I think I sense dive bomb on Gasly here. A little bit of the grass. Couldn't do the dive bomb, I hit the grass a little. Lando is in the pit. 
pits. Wise land on the pits. Ideal. DRS is wide open and we go for a move. Oh god. DRS is wide open. Sorry, I got no rear downforce. Oh Jesus Christ. I have no rear downforce. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Oh Jesus Christ, I have no rear downforce. We have to pit? What? I'm staying out. Um vehicle condition. Copy that. Hearts for next box. No. Vehicle condition. Tire condition is still looking good. I mean my vehicle doesn't look okay. I have a bloody DRS wing wide open. No rear downforce, man. Alright, people are in the pits, apparently. I'm gonna try and survive as long as I can. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's dangerous having DRS wide open up you rouge, man. I'm gonna take it more slowly next time. Okay, other drivers going for it as well. Making a quick pit stop apparently. Perez and Giovinazzi both in for another pit stop. On to the mediums they go. Oh god, I gotta take these turns very slowly as if I'm driving in the wets. Cause this DRS is causing major issues. Okay, now up your rouge. We gotta take this carefully. A little lift. A little lift, mate. A little lift. <laughs> but hey, I'm getting DRS down this straight, man. It's a big, big, big help. Big help. Okay, I see rain in the sky. Rain in the sky. It's starting to rain now. I have DRS wide open, so I gotta be careful now. It's gonna be extra slippery for me, mainly because I don't have rear downforce for this moment. Oh, never mind. It's down again. It's down. DRS is down. It fixed itself. Good. Okay, let's just keep going then. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, there's a yellow flag in sector one. Seems like a Haas is out or spun. It looks like the Haas spun. Lap 13. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Gap to teammate behind is we are not boxing right now. Seconds. We're waiting until an inter stand comes. Because I think the inter should come. Weather report. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Light rain is here to stay. I'm wondering if it's going to get wet at any point. I'm risking it right now. I'm risking it for a chocolate biscuit. Four more laps to go and I still need to make a mandatory tire change. We're leading our teammate by 31.6 seconds. I don't know if I'm losing traction because of the rain or because of my tires. Because my tires are kind of dead. There's five laps of fuel remaining. You see, they're all in the high 40s or in the 40s making the call we're pulling the trigger we have to move on to the softs because i don't think it's going to get any wetter yep it's gonna be dry tires until the end so let's see if we can make good use of the softs try to push on everyone and try to get everyone at the, towards the end 2.6 okay let's try to pit look after these tires now we want to finish the race on this compound. Alright, let's push on everyone. Let's try to get as many people as possible. Don't tell me it's going to get inters now. I swear to God, if I could have just pressed on a little more than it's inters, I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm right behind Gansley. I think I can get him here. Around the outside. Yes. We got Leclerc as well in my sights. Great maneuver. You made it look easy.
Oh, Jesus Christ. Gap to teammate behind is 20.6 seconds. What? Collision with Leclerc. He hit me, man. I was safe. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about tire condition for now. This fault. Everything's looking good. Not mine. We got Verstappen two seconds up the road. Come on. This lap and the next. Giovinazzi as well, just up the road too. I can get on the podium, I think. Let's try to push for it. Yes, 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 yes. Up on the podium. Come on, Gasly, or Giovinazzi. Let me get you. We need to beat at least Giovinazzi to get competitive in the driver standings because both my rivals are ahead of me. I don't I don't want to live with that. That's going to cause complications down the road. We got to overtake Giovinazzi. Come on, last lap showdown. It's getting wet, man. It's getting very wet out here. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. That's what she said. Okay. Okay, here we go. Last second dive. Last second dive on Giovinazzi. Come on. I should have some pace around here than him. E, leave me the space, leave me the space, por favor. Come on, come on, come on. Bust up chicane dive. Oh boy, what a dive. What a result. Thank you very much. I'll take P2. Yellow flag. Caution. There we go. Caution. Okay, good job mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgium Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Ah, uh, I took a big, big, big risk. Nearly pulled off an Alex Albon. Um, but yeah, didn't pay off, man. Didn't pay off. I should have pit a little earlier. We should have stuck to our strategy. But I was just hoping for the weather to become inters, but it never did. Well, I'll take a P2. Decent result. We move to the next one. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Ace. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. And here we have the result of the Belgian Grand Prix. Sergio Perez beats us by 4.7 seconds. Very close. That last lap was Inter's condition, all right. Uh, Antonio Giovinazzi rounds out the top three podium positions. Verstappen, Leclerc, Gasly, Latifi, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Russell round out the top ten points finishers. Norris, Stroll, Eilert, Lungard, Joe, Schwartzman, Aiken, Ocon, Matsushita, and Mazepin round out the finishers with Tictum and Sainz now finishing the race today. Let's take a look at the standings then. I gained a couple positions, but or points, but Perez has closed the gap a little bit with more points than I. I did uh, scoring more points than I did 59 point gap between us Giovinazzi now 99 point gap he is still within the fight though and Lando Norris in P4 constructor standings wise we're still in the lead but the Red Bull team is slowly catching us 85 point gap now we had 100 plus in the previous couple episodes so that gap is shrinking we need to really find some form now hopefully we can find it in the next Grand Prix unlucky today we had too many intervening elements a lot of distractions in today's Grand Prix first off we had the DRS failure where we had an open DRS for five or six laps and that really slowed us down because now having no rear end causes us a lot of uh, slow pace especially the slow corners are especially hard sector 2 was almost impossible with that DRS wide open so we lost seconds there uh, we lost our positions we lost seconds I mean we took OU Rouge pretty well with the DRS open but still lifting off loses so many seconds uh, so we did end up having a deficit uh, rather than a surplus from the uh, DRS being open but 
hey, it is what it is. Hopefully we don't have that issue again. And then we had the weather kit. I mean, the weather was just weird. It just stayed sprinkling throughout the whole session. And then on the last lap, like literally at the end, it started pouring to a point where we had to switch to enters. But of course, the Grand Prix ended at that time. So it was unlucky that we didn't uh, switch tires sooner. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes we make mistakes and we have to pay for our price for it and that's what happened we paid our price and only scored p2 when we could have gotten p1 if we pit a little earlier but hey damage limitations we did well we scored p2 which is very competitive against Perez and Giovinazzi so we'll continue this form and hopefully we'll keep going in the next Grand Prix thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 content will be going up on the regular so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out it helps out the channel and helps me a lot so thank you so much for your subscription it means a lot thank you guys so much for your support thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy i'll see you guys in the next grand prix